my name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. Tonight is our live Tuesday night class, and I want to welcome you all. Um, if you are here on a non-Tuesday night and you're not live and you're on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. That's my blog right there, and also on my blog I have all the links for the show um, products that we use tonight in the show. I also have Joe here. He will be putting up the links over um, on Google Plus for the people who are here live. So I want to welcome you. Okay, I'm going to take down my blog. Um, and then we're going to get going. And I'm going to switch cameras here. So we're going to switch cameras and we're going to get going. Okay. We're in my handmade journal that I, we made a couple weeks ago on the show, and that is also on my YouTube channel. So I kind of have a little bit of an inside thing that I'm going to tell you tonight. And if you join my group called All Things Terry Sproul, um, you'll be the, one of the first people to know about this. One of the companies I work for, Hint Hint, will be having a monthly challenge. And the very first challenge is using primary colors. And I've talked to you guys about this before, talking about doing, um, working with primary colors. So I'm going to talk about primary colors as we're working, because I want to get going. First thing I want you to let you know, I did gesso my whole page, because we're going to do a resist technique. And the acrylic paint will not resist unless you have gesso down. So that's very important to have a just pre-gesso page. Okay, so I am using... Um, acrylic silks, silk acrylic glazes from Color Art, and I am going to use Pixie Pink, Sunburst, and African Jade today. And I'm using stencils from Sin City Stamps, and you're going to need baby wipes. You're going to need a lot of baby wipes for this technique, okay? So what you want to do, and you can do this with any type of acrylic paint that you want, is you're going to start adding the acrylic paint to your page. And you want to do it in small sections. Like I said, we're going to do a resist technique. So I'm going to do it in really small sections. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stencil. And this one happens to be from Sin City Stamps. And that's SinCityStamps.com. Lay it over top of my paint. And I'm going to take off the paint with a baby wipe through the stencil. So when I lift it, I have the, uh, the uh, what do I want to call it, the, the pattern left there. Now, since my paintbrush already has pink on it, I'm just going to work in little sections around my uh, page. Now, while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you guys about that um, challenge that's coming up and the fact that I'm using the primary colors. All these stencils that I am using are from Sin City Stamps. Real quickly, let me talk to you about stencils. You're going to notice that I'm kind of staying in a theme of stencils. When you use your stencils, um, I kind of picked kind of all circles tonight. You want to keep that theme going. I wouldn't have picked up squares or something. You know, I keep this theme. So you'll see I have this one. I have this one, so you see the circles go on there, and then I have this one in my list of things. So as you notice, that all of those go together really well because they all have circles. And I have this one too. Now this one, it doesn't necessarily have circles, but it's not very square either, so it still will work on the same idea. Okay. So in this challenge that's going to be coming up, the challenge is going to be using the primary colors. Now I know right off the bat you're going to go, the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, and you're using pink. That's true. But if you want to remember that pink is a tone or a um, tint of red, right? If I take red and I add white to it, I'm going to get pink, right? So technically I am using red. I'm just using a shade of red or a tint of red. Actually, it's called a tint. And the difference is 
um, a dark color. When you add black to a color, to a primary color, that is a shade of it. And the way I always remember it, that is black is, or a shade is always darker. You know, your, your shadow is always darker. So it's in the shade, get where I'm going. And that's how I remember that shade is when you add black and tint is when you add white. But really, do you need to know that? Not really. Okay. So now I've gotten my pink in there. I'm going to clean my brush because I want to change colors now. So this challenge is going to be starting soon. I'm hoping we're, we're talking about having it start on the 20th. And even though I'm not eligible to win, I just wanted to talk about it and uh, show you what you can do. So now I'm grabbing yellow, and this one is actually, to be honest, is Sunburst. So I'm going to continue to do this exact same thing across my page. This time I'm just adding the yellow, and again using the stencils and the baby wipes. Now make sure you do not let your acrylic paint dry. If you let your acrylic paint dry, it will not necessarily pick up the um, with the baby wipe. I mean, it might if it's not completely dry, but once it's cured, it, it probably shouldn't do that for you. So that's why I'm doing these little sections. That's why you see me doing little sections at a time. And I do overlap, as you see right there, I just overlapped. Because it's going to make a prettier page. And I'm having to work a little quickly because it's quite warm here in San Diego today, even up here on my mountain. So. But yeah, oh, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to be taking the 30th off. That's in two Tuesdays from tonight. So there will not be a class on that particular Tuesday, but I will make a extra video for you guys. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will get that notification that I'm doing that I had put up a video. Also, if you join my group on Facebook called All Things Terry Sproul, I'm really good at um, putting the links and stuff there for you. What challenge? The challenge is basically going to be, it'll be something different every month. Um, so this particular first one, what we're going to do is we are going to have you use, your, po your project will be anything you want to do, but it'll be using these three colors, the three primary colors. That'll be the only requirements. And then you'll be linking them up directly to that blog post. So it's a great way for other people to see your work also. And then there'll be a really great prize. I'm hearing it's going to be around $40 for a uh, product. Now that's a lot of paint, guys. So join my group called All Things Terry Sprout. I'll make sure you'll be one of the first people to know when it goes live. So I'm liking this already. See where we're going? Oh, I know. I, I, You know, Stephanie, I used to live in Arizona. I was actually raised in Glendale, Arizona. And that's why I'm no longer in Arizona because um, Stephanie's saying that it's 113 today in Arizona. And like I said, I was raised there. So I know all about that heat. I, I can't do it anymore. That's why I ran away to California. <laughs> couldn't do it. I couldn't breathe in that town. I'm just cleaning out my brush, grabbing a couple more baby wipes to start on the next color. And I'm using African gray, um, African jade, excuse me. Now, um, also I wanted you to notice too that when you do a, a, a um, color, when you're talking color theory, um, oh, I didn't get my paintbrush very clean. I'm getting yellow in with my uh, blue. Um, when you're talking about color theory, I am using the tint of the color as we talked about. And as you notice, all three of them, all three colors that I'm using are the tint 
of the color. So if you start off using a tint of a color, which remember that means that we added white to the paint, um, you want to continue having that look. So I wouldn't go with a really dark blue here because that would throw the eye off. I'm staying with the tint instead of a shade. You understand where I'm coming from, I hope? I think I, I explained that correctly. So let me know if that didn't make sense to you, and I'll try to explain it again in a better, in a different way. But yes, Stephanie, I feel for you, trust me. Look how pretty that is already, that background. This is such a fun way to make a background. And it, it's kind of relaxing too because you really don't have to think. It just kind of comes together. And I do like to work in odd numbers because it's more pleasing to the eye as a designer. So I am using three colors here and that's another thing that's very pleasing to the eye. Is it um, I believe it's going to be open to all international people. Somebody just asked me if the challenge is going to be just for um, the states, and I believe we are going to um, have it an international um, um, call or international challenge. And Leslie's actually in the room, so if she disagrees with that, she can let me know immediately. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure we're going to have an international option that it'll be open to everybody. Okay, here. What do I want to do? I'm trying to find. Okay, I'm going to switch colors again. I'm going to go back to pink. I want to put pink right here. Getting these last few little spots that need to be filled in. Oh, but Florida to me is is miserably hot. I actually would take Arizona's heat before I would take Florida's heat personally, Debbie. Nothing personal, but that's that is just way too hot for me there. It's so muggy. I've been to Florida a couple times um, for uh, crafting events and to Disney World because I'm a huge Disney fan. So um, I've been to Disney world a couple times and that place is just so hot oh i also have a coupon for you guys for the um anything over at color art and you will need to have color art products to be able to join in on this challenge so if you don't have them this would be a really good opportunity to grab them so get yourself a piece of paper and pen out and i'll give you that coupon here in a minute I am changing colors again. Going over to yellow here. Again, I'm just kind of filling in these last few spots. So, let me go ahead and give you that coupon. I will repeat it again later on. The coupon is Art by Terry Sproul. All one word. A-R-T-B-Y, Terry Sproul, T-E-R-R-I-S-P-R-O-U-L. And that is good for 20% off your total order. So that's a great coupon, guys. Okay, I think I want some blue. Cleaning my brush again. Um, Leslie, the question was, are we going to allow international people to be in that challenge? I'm assuming it is a yes. Be open to everybody. So she should answer me here in a second. Yeah. 
You need, do need to keep your um, baby wipe in a clean spot or you just add the paint back in. Okay, I'm getting really close to having this sec first section done. Actually, I got blue on. Let me just add more blue here. And I know I've told you guys this before also. All colors are made from the three primary colors plus black and white. So these three colors make all colors in the spectrum. Okay, what do I need here? I need, no, oh, we'll just go with blue since that's what's on my paintbrush. Yeah, I can't do the humidity in uh, Florida. Beautiful state though. Oh, very, very pretty. I did a lot of, I've been to Boca Raton and um, Key West and all kinds of really cool spots. Beautiful, beautiful town. Our state okay now I'm going to do the abs absolute opposite what I did here is I lifted paint off through the stencils now I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to put paint down um, through the stencils so I just grabbed some paint and I like to use makeup sponges right out of the jar and I'm gonna lay my stencils down and just start adding the paint directly on top Now, you don't want a lot of paint on your makeup sponge. If you have a lot of paint, it will bleed underneath your stencils. And as you see what I'm doing, I'm doing a tapping motion. That's where you're going to get a nice, clean image like that. Okay? So that's a really good hint. Man, I'm almost out of this African jade again. Can tell I love these paints because I'm going through them like crazy and I'm, I'm laying over top of the you know already images here and I want to overlap things too and as you also notice that I'm not doing the whole image Leslie has confirmed that we are going to have everybody in the world is welcome I knew she'd say that see See how well I know her? <laughs> okay. So, again, I'm just going across the whole thing, putting in this uh, image. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change colors. I'm going to pull out some, some yellow on my desk here. So I'm just actually, oh, you can kind of see it. I'm putting a little dab down there. I'm going to switch to a new clean um, makeup sponge for the yellow. Again, I do the dab on, kind of dab off, because you don't want your, to have it really thick. Again, I'm just going across. This is all about layering right now. So I'm just putting lots and lots of layers on. And this is going to give us really nice depth in our page later on. So yes, that coupon code again is Terry, excuse me, Art by Terry Sproul. It's good for 20% off over at colorart.com. All these stencils are from Sin City Stamps. I was actually supposed to get a coupon for you for that tonight, but it didn't come in my email before I went on live. So what I will do is put that coupon code over on my group called All Things Terry Sproul as soon as I get it. Let me go with pink, and then we're going to change to another technique. I just want a little more on here, and then we're going to go to something else. 
Did you see how fun this background is? Yeah, that was a little too much paint out, but oh well. I'll have to use it up on when I go off air. Because it can't go to waste. Where's my partner in crime? He's actually here tonight, Mr. Joseph. Everybody's asking about you. You're being quiet, I guess. I'm being, I'm being very, very quiet. quiet. <laughs> He's being quiet. He's been having a couple days at work lately. I haven't even been able to get the time of day from him either. But it doesn't well, stop her from calling and texting and emailing. That's right. He can't get rid of me. He, he thinks he can. He just can't. And now I just feel like I'm back at Easter. Look at these colors. What the heck? <laughs> Isn't it pretty, though? It's springy. It's all springy. Oh, way too delicate for me. <laughs> well, it's going to get more, more colors here in a minute. Okay. Now I need to draw that so I can go to the next technique. I would be much more butch in my expression. Oh, yeah. Don't let him fool you guys. It ain't going to take more than a second to dry because it's already pretty dry. Okay. Now what I want to do, see that's what I'm saying, that's how hot it is. I didn't even need to have... Uh, dry it for very long okay now i'm going to use stamps and i'm going to use the um actually two sets from sin city stamps they're both the art journal one and the art journal two and honestly i, I get them mixed up all the time on which is from which set but um this first one kind of looks like um bubble wrap and i am using black or um indian ink from stuart superior and again, I don't get the whole stamp inked up. I don't worry about it. As you notice, I even have it kind of squeezed up here on the edges. And I'm just going to go in and tap here and there. I'm going to tap till I'm actually out of ink. I might re-inked re once. That's probably all I'm going to do with that stamp. This next one is script. It's actually a love letter in Italian. Again, I'm kind of just inking part of it. I'm not inking the whole thing because, again, I don't want the whole image and I don't want it to be very square. So if you have stamps that you ha give you that very square look when you stamp it and you're not looking, looking for that, um, that's how you kind of prevent it. You kind of hold your ends up. So you'll notice when I stamp. I would say hold your end up with pride. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so you see how I'm kind of curving it there and then stamping. So I'm only getting part of the image on there. Okay. And then this one is kind of like a honeycomb. And that, again, is on that same um, uh, set of stamps over at Sin City, the... Um, Art Journal 1 or Art Journal 2. So again, I'm just, no rhyme or reason, I'm just stamping. Just getting some image on the back. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. There's my background. Now, oh, I just I do want to add this. This is a large stencil from, actually, I believe I got it at the um, office supply store. And I'm going to use uh, Memory Mist from Stuart Superior in um, Blueberry. And the reason I grabbed Memory Mist is because Memory Mist does, is a permanent ink. And I really want a permanent I don't want it to bleed. So I'm actually going to, and yeah, I am putting it on sideways. So I am going to spray with this because it'll be a permanent ink. 
and that will work. And I'm, I decided to use blue because of the challenge. And it's kind of kind of act as my black here. You know, if you, a lot of times I would, my instincts is to spray with black, which would be cool, but it's going to give me that same thought, but yet still keep that softness. Because if I went with the black, it would stand out even more than the blue is. It would be almost overwhelming because. Remember, I'm using tints of colors. So even though this isn't a tint of a color, it's actually a shade. It's not as harsh as black would be. Okay? And if you hear the sounds on the side, I'm actually trying to clean my template. Okay. So that's where I am there. And I really like that. Very happy with that. Quick dry. And you do need to have your uh, memory mist completely dry, not necessarily heat dried, but dried before it becomes permanent. And by the way, memory mist actually works on um, fabric too. I like how not all the letters showed up and some are darker than others. I really like that. I love happy accidents. Okay. Um, about two weeks ago, I made a video that taught you how to, and I've actually taught you guys in this past, how to take a magazine image and make a mask out of it. So that's actually what I've done here is made that. And Joe's going to put the link up for that video so that you can go and watch that later and um, learn how to uh, put the uh, make a stencil out of a magazine image or mask actually i'm grabbing another makeup sponge because i didn't grab four and i need four and i'm going to use white gesso the same technique can be done with black gesso also but I decided to use white on this page tonight. So it can look just as cool with uh, black gesso. So what I'm going to do now is use her as a mask. And I'm going to um, use the, the white gesso and go around her and um, use her as a mask. So that's my idea. So again, I'm using the pouncing technique. And I am also watering my gesso down a little bit here on the side because I want it to be, um, I want it to have a little bit of translucentness to it. I don't want it to um, take away the whole background, all that work I did. So I am watering it down. And that's going to give me a little, um, you'll still be able to see the translucentness. You'll still be able to see the background. but yet still give me the definition that I want around the stencil. You'll see when I lift her up. So it, it depends on what you want to do. If you do black gesso um, and not water it down, you can get a really, really cool tech um, look also. I like to do the black gesso and then maybe go over it with a um, white chalk pen and then you can um, write over the black gesso. It looks really cool. Okay, I probably have her done enough to be able to lift her up. You just get around her head a little more defined. Okay, so I'm gonna lift her up, but I'm gonna continue on with what I'm doing. So you see where the shadow is? So, Joe, your speakers are on. Thank you. So now I'm just coming in and going around a little more in the rest of the page with the white gesso. So that this um, image comes out just a little bit more. In fact, I kind of lost it over here, so let me... Bring her back in for just a second.
need to get a little darker over here. She lost her definition, and I, I want her to be defined. So I am using the gesso a little stronger, closer to her, but then I will uh, soften it up as I go out. There we go. That's a little more defined. That's what I was looking for. And you can do as much or as little of the background as far as this gesso goes as you like. So you could actually leave this all open, but I'm actually going to do the whole thing in the gesso, but just do it in a really light tone. Now, if you used a spray that was not um, permanent right there, where I'm going over it, it would reactivate that paint and I'd start having problems that I didn't like. So, and again, I'm not picking on dilutions because I'm about ready to use them in a second here. Dilutions is not permanent. So if I use dilutions on the back there, I would be having problems with it lifting. So make sure you are using a permanent ink on your spray part. Okay, I like that. And it's still real, real subtle, but yet real, real pretty. Do you see her? Oh, yeah, you can see her. See how pretty that is? Now, you could see where if you did it in black, how much stronger that would be. It would give you a totally different feel. So it really depends on what you're looking to do. Okay. Now I actually want to grab a baby wipe real quick. And I'm going to real quickly lift this all up. And paint her off because I want to use her as a mask again so i'm going to make sure that this is paint is either dry or off so i'm just real quickly just cleaning her up a little okay perfect now i'm going to actually add her back on as a mask this time And I'm going to actually grab my dilutions. See, I'm not discing them. I'm just being honest with you. And I'm using um, three colors here. I have um, cut grass, um, bubblegum pink, and pure sunshine. Again, did you notice red? Oh, actually, I grabbed green instead of blue. Oh, well, I just won't use the green. <laughs> I'll just use two. I'm going to grab the pink and the... Um, this is in my way and the yellow and use those two so i just want to spray just to get a little more fun on the background there and actually i'm going to water it down so i can get it to drip a little bit for me because we all know i like drippage I got a little bit there, and then I'm going to grab it in this pure sunshine. Okay. There we go. Pick her back up. Now, again, I have some more color. Give this a quick dry. Now, 
wasn't in my original plan, but I think I wanted to find her out just a little bit more. So I have my Uniball on here. This is a Uniball pen. Um, didn't give you this. Uh, it's actually Speedball. Uh, Signo, Signo S-I-G-N-O. And I got this at Michael's. And I'm just going to give her a little more definition. And I'm using a blue because it's going to kind of go in with my background. And if again, if I use black, I think it would be too strong and I'm not looking for that strongness right now. So I'm going to use the blue. Just to give her a little more definition. Now, because I am going over acrylic paint, I am going to have to clean my ball off every once in a while. And I just use a pen and just clean it off. And it's usually where your paint is not dry, which it isn't dry right there that I'm where I'm trying to do that. And I can tell because I'm actually I can actually feel it when I'm going over it. So as I'm doing it, I know I'm doing bad. But it feels so good to be bad. Okay. Somehow I lost her armpit over on this side. So let's find it. Her armhole. So there we go. That should define it. There we go. Perfect. I think I'm going to come in with a little gesso in there. See if I can squeeze it in. I think I forgot to do that part. Actually. Okay, I had to find it a little more. There she goes. She came out a little more. Okay, me likey. Quick dry. Okay, I got this sticker quote that I'm going to use. I've had these stickers forever. I don't even know who they're from. It's just in my stash of stuff. It says, heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. So I'm going to use that sticker. I think I'm going to put it right there. Okay, guys. I think I like that. I think I'm stopping right there. I think that's my page. Anybody have any questions on anything tonight? I haven't seen any activity over there. Miss Miko just came in late. Oh, you were watching over on YouTube. Okay. I didn't even get any questions over on YouTube either. Oh, yes. Crate and Craft has the white Uniball pen. Um, Joe just put the link up there. That is a great pen also. I actually have that one also. So go grab that from him. And I think it's a really good price. Well, my speaker is totally died, Terry, so you're a faint little whisper to me. I'm a faint little whisper. Hopefully everybody else can hear me, but we're actually Maybe done. Maybe you should buy me a new computer for my birthday. <laughs> I just sent you your birthday present. Joe's birthday is coming up, everybody. Should we tell you how old he's going to be? I can't I believe you're 35. 35. <laughs> uh huh. 35 people. See, I, I married a young one. <laughs> I'm the cougar of the family here. <laughs> Joe's not going to even comment. Okay. Um, yes, Unibold is also at Walmart. Thank you for Miss Miko. That's a great tip. Okay, does anybody else have any more questions on tonight's little quick thing? I, again, join my group called All Things Terry Sproul. I will put it. Oh, I wanted to show you something real quick. I had this question just come up, so let me show you that. Um, I'm going to grab a different book. 
I've had quite a few people ask me recently about if their pages stick, what to do about it. So let me go to my book here and show you what to do about it. This is a page we did a couple weeks ago. And what I use is, come on, focus. There it goes. Dorland's Wax Medium. I got this at Dick Blix. Dorland's Wax Medium. And when my pages start to stick, I just take a little, oh, wow, this is practically melted right in my hand and I rub it right into my pages and what this is going to do is it's going to put a nice real thin wax layer over your journal and it will stop sticking your pages will stop sticking so I'm just going to do this one side real quick so once I get it all the way on the whole page and I would do, do both sides I would buff it out with a soft cloth Ooh, of course i forgot a soft cloth so i'm just going to use this baby this makeup sponge and basically just rub it off so you're kind of buffing it on buffing it off just like car wax and that's going to prevent your pages from sticking so if you're having that problems and i would put it on both pages i'm just doing one for you right now okay so that's how i would fix that problem in my journal so hopefully that answers your question for you few that have asked me that and there's tonight's page okay does anybody have any questions if not i'm going to um shut down here please give me a thumbs up over on youtube and subscribe to my channel join my group called all things terry sproul watch for that challenge that i'm talking about i'm just going to tell you more about it later i'm going to change cameras to say goodbye Okay, so um, again, join my group, and here is my blog. One more time. There's my blog. I'll have all of my links up tomorrow. Oh, so we got another birthday, June 3rd. Miss Miko's birthday was a couple weeks ago. Actually, I did know that because I said happy birthday to you. So um, I want to say thank you to everybody, and I will see you again. And we had a ton of people in the room. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll see you next Tuesday, but the 30th is no. So next Tuesday, yes. 30th, no. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.